Hello everybody. So today I would like to show you the single live event. First of all, you know that in MVVM, when we make the rotation of the phone, you conserve the information. But sometimes you don't need that. You only want uh, you want to have only one information. Example for the connection, like we have to work. So let's me show you let me show you the how it works so for this example i've got to edit text and a button and simulate to the connection of your website of your application etc and what we would like to have that we if we have a wrong connection or the connection i don't want when we make the rotation on the on the phone to repeat the information we only want we want only one information at time so this is the single event so let me show you this example so let's put it picking dev one hmm. and first one one two three and click on login so we are loading and we've got success okay so when we rotate the phone we don't want to have the same information on the same black bar okay so when we rotate the phone we as you can see we don't have an, any information okay it's very very useful so now let's go back to the program so uh, i have already done some um, some classes in this project so first of all for the build gradle so you need for this application so the new view model and navigator for the implementation of life cycle view model like this don't forget uh, to have the material too now it's automatic, automatically done on the new project, but be careful to have it. And of course the view binding, build feature, view binding true in the build rather. We've got the main application, so with the singleton and of course the instance application, right? And don't forget to place it inside your Android manifest like this. Right, so we've got different package, the uh, models package, the repository, the utils, the view models, the views, okay. So let's have a look on the layout. So in the, inside this layout, we've got a text view, okay, so what the app uh, information. Uh, when the user is connected or not or wrong etc etc we've got two text input layout from google material one for the username and another one for the password okay inside the username so we've got the text input edit with the id and the ems 415 and max line one and for the password we got the DID2 and the ID is ID password. So we've got input type or text password and the EMS15 and max line one. And we've got the we've got the button with this ID and text login. And we've got the progress bar with this with this ID and the visibility on the layout invisible. Okay, all right, so in the package models, we've got the data class user with the string of username and user password. We've got the backlist uh, repository with his uh, companion object. Okay, and inside uh, this, we have the method to return the list of user that we have to users inside this list for Riga Cup I want to free and Viking Dev one to free okay 
we've got the we have prepared the single life event for uh that we will work on it in a few minutes so that's it we've got we've got the man activity view model with uh, this uh, the main application inside and the uh, private value for the user list fake okay from the repository and extend to android view model and inside main application for this one okay we got our view model factory with the companion object of course and for the method uh, override so we've got for the model classes in here from for the main activity view model the class for the class dot java so return the main application and the, the instance of the list fake repository and for the end through the equal argument exception okay okay so i think all is done so now let's create our single live event you can name it as you want it's not a problem so be careful to put the extents of multiple live data t of course so let's go private but pending equal atomic boolean false for the initial value okay private val observers observers like this equal mutable so we need to mutable set of like this so yes and observer in t like this uh made a mistake oops uh, oops oops so like this it's better so next private well internal observer equal observer t okay let's call it t yes so if ending dot compile and set true and update false so observers so oops observers type for which so maybe like this better yes so let's call it observer so observer dot change t okay so let's continue and uh, let's call the observe method observe uh, this one key and observe observer in it okay let's put it in the main thread right so let's change this to the observer so if ending that compare set true and update false so observer dot unchange t this oops yes What's happening? Oh yes. Uh forget not T so not like this. Of course it so let's change to T. I think it's better. So let's replace G like this. Yes. Okay. So let's continue on this method for us. Let's put a comment. So this observe the internal the internal 
Mitch Paul Live Data. Yes, okay. So now get all observers. So observers that add, of course, observer. So if that has observer. So it's called super. So, sorry, super dot observe on oops on a, and not observer but it's an observer. Okay, and of course let put information on the log. Okay, because we would like only one information so if there is multiple observers all I forgot the yellow okay we just red but only one will be notified no of changes yes okay that's done so let's write different method as remove observers observers like this so up like this observers dot clear Next one, observer. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, excuse me. Yes, observer. Yes, yes. And observers that remove. And observer like this and for the last one set value is so ending dot set to true and let's put it in the main thread and value value and it could be known Okay. Right. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, that's it. Uh, key. Remove servers. Observer. And set value. Oh, that's okay for this class. Right. So now let's go to main activity view model and let's create first our sail class so let's call it login ui statement statement like this and inside let's create object for success and login my statement mm, data class or the error yes and or well message string of login statement okay and an object or loading loading Mm, login a statement and the last one the object for empty and login a statement let's put it like this it's better to be like this success error 
the building um, and like this. So now let's create the, the variable so private well the first one for the username to rescue the username so multiple live data equal multiple live data multiple live data of string let's do the same for the password so well password multiple live data we call multiple live data multiple live data of string 2 and now we can have the variable for our single live event so private well you action login UI start and this is for single event single live event of logit statement logit statement and the constructor like this so now let's create the method to rescue so data from data from user name and password okay so fun set user set username yes why not set username multiple live data so username of string Uh, oops, like this. So username dot value equal username, and let's do the same for set password multiple live data and password of string like this and password to value equal password like this okay let's do now the method for retrieve information of the our single life event so get <coughs> sorry get view action um loggy UE state UI state to num excuse me for the accent also and so single event of login UI statement okay like this and of course return new action login UI state to num now let's do the function the logical function so fun action single event not log e. again ui stat state num okay and inside this store error let's put error connection this of excuse me of string like this we can use in a few moments our variable okay like this so first of all i would like to when i at the start to set the value of the view action to login or loading of course and now i would like to simulate wait so time to wait from wait from server some response server okay so for that let's 
use the curriculum so you you model scope excuse me you model scope dot launch dot launch so inside let put delay of three yes long okay and let's go so let's take the information inside the our user list fake so user list fake two dot four okay so if user name dot value is not equal to user dot username so that's the user value equal of course look empty and right this else and inside the else so if username dot value equal user dot username and password dot value equal oops excuse me also made a, made a mistake like this is better okay so and user dot user password so you fiction dot value equal of course success and rec else if So else if username dot oops yes value equal so user dot username and for the password it's not the same password dot value is not equal to user dot user password so like this let's put the value of course error and let's put our variable inside this and else this so machine dot value equal error error connection like this let's rearrange our code automatically yes it's better like this uh, so we've got to simulate so the wait uh, remember you can't use the D because it is um, a scope and so you had to use this delay inside the view model scope uh, for example if i put this here it's not possible you've make a um, error message message error okay so just just an information right uh so now we've got our setting that's it uh, we got our sale class for success eroding in empty Yes, so first of all, we would like to be unloading. Uh, we, will, we, we are going to be connected. Uh, we want to scope launch DD OK for three seconds. And user done OK for that sit. Empty break and empty break. And I forgot break to clear. Like this, okay, break and left break and left break, else, okay, roll. That's it. So it is done for the main activity view model. So now go to main activity and main activity. First of all, let's create a method to use the sniper. So private and 
set snack bar inside text string oops sorry yes string and this so snack bar dot make so bending dot root, dot root yes text and snap bar dot length on and that show where is it yes that's it and next so let's try the button bending dot to login dot set on click listener so main activity we will also set user name so bending dot it username dot text dot to string yes let's do the same for the password so bending dot the password dot text so now let's have our observer so main activity view model get the action dot observe this and server yes okay what's happening yes okay so when it and for the different cases so is loading so for the case of loading oh, excuse me and we have the case of success yes we have the case of empty excuse me empty and we have the case of error and else return yes excuse me unit unit like this so oh this so let's put the meaning dot progress bar dot is visible is visible oh, what's happening thing dot progress bar just a minute. Uh, I've got a little bit problem. Ah, uh, what's happening? This is my progress bar. So bending progress bar that is visible. Oh, uh, what's happening? Uh, what's happening? Bending the progress bar that is visible equal true but is visible what's happening what's that what is the problem um tuk, 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 tuk. Uh, what's happening what's happening what is the problem Oops, dude, I don't have my core. Oops, I made a mistake. I forgot. Oh, yes, the activity. So, uh, let's put this on uh, Android X activity, activity cortex 1.1.0. I think it will be better. So, like this. It's better. So, excuse me, don't forget to place to this implementation in Kotlin okay so right
and go back that's it so it's better like this so and uh, not recall that's when okay right 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 so let's continue so for the case of success so ending dot to user dot text equal connected like this set snack bar for success like this and ending dot progress bar dot is visible now we can have it and to false the case of empty so bending dot tv user dot oops text equal so unknown unknown excuse me unknown user So create an account Why not so set snack bar user unknown it is empty right and bending dot uh, progress bar dot is visible dot false okay and for the last one or the error so bending dot tv connected dot text equal it dot message and set that bar it dot message and the last thing bending dot progress bar dot is visible equal false right so this is right this so the observer okay return true yes when is login so we've got loading success empty and error inside the message type and that's it it's good right so now let's try the application okay this one let's run it and let's have a look okay so without Username and password. Let's have a look what's happening. Ah, there is a problem. So, there is a problem. We forgot to put the loading. And so. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, I made a mistake. So, excuse me. So, this one. Let's copy and paste here. Of course, sorry for the mistake. So, loading. And not this one. So, let's try again. Sorry for that. I forgot this. So, let's try again. So, clicking the one. And password. That's better. Okay, so user account, uh, let's have a look. Yes, of course, it's not the good one. It's an example, so let's do for Wikicap or Wikingdev. So let's put Wikingdev and the password, of course, 1, 2, 3, like this. Loading. And user creating an account. There is a problem. Picking dev. Oh, it's not normal. So, what's happening? 
Baking dev. Baking dev. One, two, three. Oh, there is a mistake. There is a mistake. So, so the <clears throat> the mistake must must be probably here. Ah, okay. Right. So let's run again. So let's do picking tab one two three loading and connect it. Right. Let's do the same for pick up. up. Let's do place one two three. Let's log in. Okay, right. Now another one. So let's let's see what's happening. And of course, it's not. We got up twenty-five. It's not inside the list. So we had to, to ask the, to the user if he would like to create an account. Okay, so. That's all. I hope you enjoy this video and see you soon for the next one. Bye bye.